Gustav and I are off downriver to Sudbrook, a modern village that may be under threat. Its medieval predecessor certainly was. We've been joined by Alex Belisario, one of Gus's colleagues from Citizen. So, so um, well, what was it? Well, this was a church dedicated to the Holy Trinity. What can you say about it? I mean, do you know how old it was? Well, what we can see at the moment is 14th century, but we know that the original church um, was 12th century. Um, so it seemed to have got expanded in the 14th century. So that suggests a prosperous parish population in the 12th century, which maybe doubles in size in the 14th and by the 15th century, suggesting that this was a very prosperous community, presumably with a very large village. If that is the case, I mean, where is it? Where's the village? Well, that's the conundrum, isn't it? It's not here. We don't know too much, but what we do know is in the 1870s, there was a, um, a report of human remains and coffins being found on the foreshore. Well, just, just in front of where the chapel just was. Just in front of where the chapel was. So, so the churchyard is disappearing into the sea? It would appear that way. But I think it's still a bit of a mystery, isn't it? So the remains of the medieval church tell us there must have once been a village. We know that erosion was destroying the churchyard in the 19th century. But is that when the people left? More to investigate. We have here the parish registers for Port Skewit. But people are still using Sudbrook Church. They are still using Sudbrook Church. We've got 1674, William Blessing of Durham married Mrs Temperance Rumsey of Sudbrook at the Church of Sudbrook on the 14th of September 1674. Hmm. 1670s, it seems to be that, that Sudbrook is still active as a church, even though it's in these port skirt registers. Yes. And then what happens? Well, we move over to this, which is the second of the parish registers, and we find um, that we've got quite a few people who are of Sudbrook, but they are being buried at Port Skewit. I can see Sudbrook's there. So yeah. they stopped using the church for their marriages and deaths. What's really interesting about this change is that Virginia has found independent evidence of what might have caused it. In the late edition of William Camden's Britannia, published in 1695, there's an entry about Port Skewit, followed by a fascinating footnote. And then it's got... Joining to it is Subbrook, the church whereof, called Trinity Chapel, standeth so near the sea that the vicinity of so tyrannous a neighbour has spoiled it of half the churchyard. Well, that tells us the churchyard's half gone, but it doesn't say actually much about the church itself. So, I mean, do we know what happened to the church? Well, if you could pull that next document towards us, Tory, then this is the sale of the manor of Sudbrook and the parish church of Sudbrook aforesaid. The next 30 words, <laughs> now fallen down. <laughs> and all... <laughs> so, the church has gone. The church has gone by 1720. Mm. And that's really interesting because I know that between 1690 and 1720, Britain was hit by a severe number of winter storms. Those storms might have been responsible first for the churchyard crumbling into the Severn and then maybe finally for the church itself entering this decrepit state. Mm. You can see that very quickly, maybe in 30 years, it could easily become a ruin and that's it. Subbrook yeah. is gone. Really fascinating evidence. The villagers from medieval Subbrook moved to other parts of the local area, probably in the late 1600s. And by the early 18th century, the village sadly has died.